was like in this in this movement and i'm sure you've experienced this too especially when you first get into this movement there's a big emphasis on like self-sufficiency and independence and i can do all this by myself and i don't need nobody but the biggest lesson that i've truly learned in the last five years um is that i do absolutely need people you know like people like kat and even you like you gave, gave me work in 2019 when everybody else was too afraid to hire me well that work is how i survived you know or all the people that donated to me like but also just like the friends that i've made you know like i this year um there's been some beautiful things that have happened well this year as in 2023 there were some really beautiful things here and there that happened but it was a really hard year year for me you know like it started off kind of turbulent, got better, you know, I fell in love, but the universe gate fucking joke is just like, hi, we're gonna give you the most healthy and fulfilling relationship you've ever had, but by the way, he's literally on the other side of the planet 90, 98% of the time, you're gonna be lonely as fuck. Mm. And without these people, like without my roommate, without Henza being close by, um, without the people that I train with in circus, this year would have fucking sucked. You know, like, I have felt so loved. And it's funny, because, like, I posted some videos on social media about this, but after my performance in July with my with my circus people, um, they were all, like, kind of watching from the inside, and I had, a, I had my first solo. It was a solo on trapeze. And when I came back in, and they were already doing this for months at, like, parties and stuff, they screamed, yeah! Or Lily, or Mana, yeah, it is Mexicana, which means Lily, sister, you are Mexican. And they, like, all bombarded me and hugged me, singing that at me. And it's just like, the community that I have now worldwide, you know, like, all of these, like, we need community to really thrive in this world. If we all just try to fucking do everything ourselves, we end up miserable, angry, and bitter. Um... So yeah, I like that you've made this directory and I like that it's not just a, oh, only if they accept crypto or only this, like, no, if they're good people that do good business and are trustworthy and that you know aren't, you know, gonna, you can trust them to know, like, like anybody that I go to my gym with, they could just call and have me deported. Mm -hmm. And they all know my story now. And the exact opposite of what I feared would happen has happened. Basically, they've embraced me. I've become closer to all of them now. Um, they invite me into their homes, to their family functions, to their birthday parties. They're coming with me to Acapulco now, so we're going to perform together. And it's just like, it's it's been really heartwarming. It's been mm -hmm. super heartwarming to like, just lean into that community aspect worldwide. It's That's so to funny hear. to see, and I think it's like, yeah, I think it's like the second wave of this community because we all we all start off as individuals, but then we at a certain point we realize not only does it suck being all by yourself, it's just so much better having a good community of people you trust. And I know the biggest thing that I've gotten out of being involved in this movement is I have a long list of people that I know for a fact because I've had to that I can trust with my life 